Avatar has a two piece. The first piece is National Geographic Tax. I'll keep it a stack. I don't know how this guy did it. <laughs> I honestly do not know how this dude um, actually ended up and um, got two billion. <laughs> As in, he just passed Infinity War. Because I think, you know, it's, it's to try to break this down. Because what I saw on Twitter was um, someone said, how the heck did this make more money than Infinity War? Because, you know, Infinity War, people have been talking about it. So many films were leading up to Infinity War. And there is just so much dialogue within the culture about it. And for Avatar, as people have said, I don't know anybody who's in Avatar. People don't even talk about Avatar. And this sequel came out, like, what, 12 years after the first film? So, it, it makes no sense. Here's, and, and first of all, it's, let me just explain as to how it's made the money. And then my thought processes. Because, but, as I said again, I'm shocked. Because I knew this would make a bill. Two bill? Two bill? So how this happened is this. Twitter is like 1%, maybe even less than 1% of what the world is thinking. Not everybody's on Twitter. Not everybody's on Facebook. More people are on Facebook than Twitter, but not everyone is on Twitter. So when you see so much dialogue, people talking about Marvel, MCU, Infinity War. It's just a microcosm. Although, because, you know, remember, this is the world. It's young people, middle-aged people, older people, and people of all races, people of all, um, from all uh, various categories of the social ladder, from all walks of life. And not all of them are on Twitter. And and this is where it just gets out on unfortunate. Avatar has a two-piece. The first piece is National Geographic Tax. So it's called NG, NG, NGT, National Geographic Tax. It, it's one of those things where you have to see it in the cinema. And as much as I hate the, the film and the story, that 3D is amazing. Because I've seen many other films in 3D like Beowulf and so forth, which are crap. But because James Cameron is so amazing on a technical level, when you watch it in the cinema, you're like, this story is a piece of trash. But man, this thing looks amazing. And it looks bloody amazing. In terms on just visually, from its pure technical point of view, forget narrative from a technical point of view, it's amazing. But let's talk about the narrative. So the second flex is, it is a tried and tested story trope that people just that the world just seems to accept. We've been so um, poisoned with the um, dances with wolves trope, John Carter of Mars trope. Basically, white man goes native. You know, like, that white man goes native has been used, you know, Last of the Mohicans, John Carter of Mars, Dances with, with Wolves. It's been tried, Last Samurai, they tried so many, many times, you know, white man goes to this other place, learns their ways, and becomes part of them, and becomes a king of this native tribe. And I just, and unfortunately, it's just a story that the world just seems to accept and sort of mesh with. So, you have to understand that it's, it's the world. So, internet, remember, this is... Internationally, internationally, the world has just obviously gravitated towards this whole avatar thing and what Pandora is about. So going there is truly an experience. But despite that, I am shocked I'm sh because I really did not believe that with so long since the first film that people would go out and see this. So, so basically, avatar, it's, it's, it's a weird one. It's a weird one because it has no cultural impact. After the first film, nobody talks about Avatar. It didn't really enter into the consensus. It's le it left no imprint in the way that Thanos left an imprint from the um, Avengers films. But what it is, is it's one of those things where you don't see it out there culturally. But it's one of those things that for people, when Avatar's out, oh, I'm going to go and watch Avatar. And when, and, and when I watch it, that's it, I'm done. But I'm just going to go with my, my family and my friends and go into Pandora because it's such an amazing place I want to es escape to. Um, and it's sad. Because why? Because if this does not make enough money, James Cameron would have to find something else to do. And that is where I'd be happy because he'd, he'd not have to now try and say what's up in another sense. Um, so that's the sad part is that, okay, we're now stuck in this piece of trash Pandora for three, four points without bombers 
Jake Sully and Nesiri and these garbage crap actors and so forth. So, look, again, I, I am shocked. I am shocked that he made all this money, but at the same time, I'm sad. I'm certain that James Cameron, a guy who is so talented, Pandora, really? Really? I mean, bomb, bomb, trash Dora? Brick Dora? Really? Really? James Cameron? Really? The man who gave us T2 and Aliens? Really? You're not going to do Avatar 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? And I just watched a program. I said, oh, the next Avatar will now be about people of fire. And as someone said on the internet, that sounds a lot like the Fire Nation in Avatar Legend of Ang. Just saying, man. Sad.